Halloween starts early. I'm Matt Carlins and this is Just Pro Wrestling News for Tuesday, October 26th, 2021. A big welcome to those of you listening on OccupyProWrestling.com. You can bring our updates to your website. Find out how at JustProWrestlingNews.com. WWE. Four title matches are set for tonight's NXT. It's Halloween Havoc. Tommaso Ciampa defends his NXT championship against Braun Breaker. It'll be spin the wheel, make the deal before two of tonight's title matches. Raquel Gonzalez defending the NXT Women's Championship against Mandy Rose. And MSK putting their NXT tag titles on the line against Imperium's Marcel Bartel and Fabian Eichner. Plus a three-way scare way to hell ladder match for the NXT Women's Tag Titles. Io Shirai and Zoe Stark are set to be challenged by Indy Hartwell and Persia Parada and Gigi Dolan and JC Jane. Jane was unable to finish a match last Tuesday after a hard landing on a dive to the outside, but she tweeted Monday, quote, nothing can keep me down, end quote. Also tonight, the debut of Solo Sokoa, the younger brother of the Usos and another son of Rikishi. WWE unveiled its pay-per-view plans for next year. The schedule released on Monday confirms a two-day WrestleMania at AT AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas on April 2nd and 3rd. Tickets go on sale to the general public on November 12th. SummerSlam will be at the 69,000-seat Nissan Stadium in Nashville, Tennessee on Saturday, July 30th. The schedule also includes a pay-per-view date during the Labor Day weekend. The next challenger for the WWE Championship held by Big E will be Seth Rollins. He won a four-way ladder match on last night's Raw, besting Finn Balor, Kevin Owens, and Rey Mysterio. A date for that title match has yet to be announced, but we learned last night that Becky Lynch will defend her Raw women's title against Bianca Belair on next Monday's Raw. The advertised Raw tag title match between Randy Orton and Riddle and AJ Styles and Amos never happened. Instead, last night, Team RK-Bro successfully defended their titles against Dolph Ziggler and Robert Roode. Ziggler and Roode earned the shot by winning a three-way earlier in the night over the Street Profits and Chad Gable and Otis. Angelo Dawkins took the pin. United States champion Damian Priest beat T-Bar via disqualification After T-Bar threw a chair at Priest, Priest retaliated by laying out T-Bar after the match. The newly crowned Queen Zelina beat Dewdrop in a rematch of their Queen's Crown Final from Crown Jewel. Zelina hit Dewdrop in the head with a scepter to steal the pin. Carmella beat Liv Morgan, Austin Theory beat Dominic Mysterio, and Keith Bearcat Lee beat Cedric Alexander. AEW Brian Danielson is on tonight's AEW Dark. He'll go one-on-one against the Factory's Aaron Solo. As if that isn't enough, tonight's Dark will also see the debut of the new tag team Too Fast to Fuego. That's right, Fuego Del Sol and Fuego 2 teaming up to face Dean Alexander and Kid Bandit. Also announced for tonight, Eddie Kingston versus Jack Evans. On last night's Dark Elevation, Dark Orders 10 beat the Factory's QT Marshall, plus Ryu Mizunami and legit Layla Hirsch beat Diamante and Extina K. K took the pin. AEW announced that future episodes of Dynamite will air live everywhere in the continental US on TNT. For our friends out west, that means 6 p.m. Mountain and 5 p.m. Pacific start times beginning on Wednesday. Tonight's NWA Power is a special Empower episode with Allison Kay and Marty Bell defending the NWA Women's Tag Titles against Paola Blaze and Genocide. Plus, Mickey James versus Kiera Hogan, Kylie Ray versus Melina versus Chelsea Green, and Lady Frost versus Sky Blue. New Japan Pro Wrestling. New Japan released an injury update on Kota Ibushi early Tuesday morning. He's been diagnosed with a right anterior dislocation of the shoulder and joint lip damage. Recovery is expected to take two months. New Japan is at Korakuen Hall for the third straight day on Tuesday. 
with the IWGP Junior Tag Titles on the line in the main event. El Desperado and Yoshinobu Kanemaru defending against the singles junior champ Robbie Eagles and Tiger Mask. Jay White will defend the Never Openweight Championship against Tomohiro Ishii at the Battle in the Valley show in San Jose on November 13th. Ring of Honor. On this past weekend's Ring of Honor TV, Jay Lethal pinned Homicide with the Lethal Injection. Tony Deppin beat Red Titus and Brody King and Chris Dickinson beat Jonathan Gresham and Hot Sauce Tracy Williams. Dickinson choked out Williams with a sleeper hold. That is just pro wrestling news for Tuesday, October 26th. I'm Matt Carlins. Thank you for listening. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.